Well, I have another article you need to check out. Roman Catholic Governor Jerry Brown pardons criminal aliens to prevent deportation. And there's a reason I mention the fact that he's Roman Catholic. Check it out. It says that Brown's Christmas giving this year included granting 132 pardons and commuting 19 prison sentences. And if you scroll down a little more, it says, now this is talking about one of the guys that he's pardoning. It says, due to his 1995 conviction on felony weapons charge with a gang enhancement and misdemeanor charges for receiving stolen property, Moni Neth was not shielded from ICE under the sanctuary state law while sitting in the Sacramento County Correctional Center in Elk Grove. But Brown used his gubernatorial power to prevent Neth and Kong's deportation by issuing a state pardon on December 23rd, defying the Trump administration's initiative to expel any legal aliens that violate the terms of their visas by engaging in criminal activity. Now, as I posted in two videos so far as I can remember, and more than a few blog entries on my main website, and yes, on my Words of the Beast page, I have a lot more than just the five quotes I'm going to share here regarding all this. But do you recall these Vatican statements? And I have a few new ones here from the last couple of videos because I like to mix it up a little. But do you recall these Vatican statements wherein they have very serious plans to make the United States of America into a Roman Catholic country coast to coast so as to both remove religious freedom as well as quench all biblical truth? Check this out. Now that we know the Vatican is very busy at trying to do everything they can to infiltrate this nation to take it over, as prophecy predicted, is part of the plan globally, we now see men like this loyal Roman Catholic, Governor Jerry Brown, doing all he can for his declared God on earth in the Vatican. And yes, I have all the links to what I'm talking about here in the blog entry for today. The Pope's actually declared himself another God on earth. He, Jerry Brown, is literally defying the laws of the land, like all his popes have done ever since the wound started to heal in 1929, so as to assure they get to where prophecy says they will be when Satan stands on earth claiming to be Jesus Christ, because that's what they're actually waiting for. As we know, the Vatican has been worshiping Satan all along, and they've been able to keep it pretty well hidden until recent days, because we are that close to the end now. Can't hide a lot of this stuff anymore. Satan needs America, as well as every nation on earth, to be under the thumb of his man of sin in Rome. And so senators, congressmen, and governors like Jerry Brown here are going to do whatever it takes for their dying God to gain the power he so craves, despite the fact that it's as fleeting and short-lived as the lies that he spews. In short, these Catholic men in power don't care if those coming into this country are dangerous, and this is why once here, they will go so far as to pardon hardened criminals who place everyone's lives in mortal danger so as to keep the Pope's immigration agenda well-guarded and well-defended. Soon, even more innocent lives are going to be lost so as to assure the voting block of the Vatican continues to grow in America. I mean, need I remind you of Kate Steinle and how an illegal immigrant deported multiple times, six or seven times, was still allowed to roam freely on American soil so as to kill her? In fact, just put the words illegal alien killed in your favorite search engine and you will be shocked at how many times this has happened in just the last few years alone. But none of this matters for the Pope or those Roman Catholic politicians that worship the Pope, that they declare to be another God on earth. And it's all because this is exactly what prophecy said would happen right before it all ends. Thank you for watching. God bless.